So I think I'm going to actually leave this class for a minute and we're going to focus a little bit on something else then we're going to come back and forth between all the components within this liquid ORM because I need to fine tune this massively and do some refactoring. So I'm going to actually create the the factory class for this query builder. I'm going to say new query builder factory that PHP. I mean when we come to actually implementing the file that gels all of these classes together within this liquid ORM you're going to see how everything pans out. As I'm saying we're going to tidy all of this up we're going to put our self documentation um, we're going to possible well we're going to be refactoring it so we're going to be coming back to this class in a bit but we're going to crack on with different parts because we've got quite we've got quite a lot to do so i'm going to declare strict types again and you probably get bored of this it's just you have to sort of like keep doing it you know when you keep doing it keep doing it it will just stick namespace and we're in magma we're in the liquid rm directory and we're in our query builder directory i'm going to say class i'm going to say query builder factory Unlike our last factory, I'm going to put a public public function construct method in. We won't use it, but I'm going to declare it. And main constructor method. Again, it's just going to return void. And Again, we're going to implement that, that single method that we talked about, which is the create method. And this is going to return, the return type is going to be the query builder interface. Let's bring that in. Use magma liquid ORM. Query builder and query builder interface because we're using it down here. Are we reference it down here? So in this create method, I only need one argument, and that's going to be the query builder name. And I'm going to exp explain to you what what this is it might be a bit naff to some people but this is just how i've gone about creating this so it's gonna be a string i'm gonna say query builder query builder string because we need to reference the the class that the query builder is which is our query builder class again i'm gonna show you this in a minute it's not making a lot of sense because you're not really seeing how it's being gelled together. So you're probably sitting there scratching your head. But you're going to see how easy it is. I'm going to say query. Query builder object. Just a variable name that I've created. Equal new. Query build. Equal new. Query builder string. Right? I'm going to say if. If query builder object is not an instance of instant of query builder interface, then we're going to say nope, you're not allowed. So I'm gonna throw an exception. Throw new I'm gonna say what did we use for the last one? Um, data mapper. 
we just use a normal exception. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to say query builder. Exception. And we're going to call that argument name. We're going to say query builder string is not a valid query builder object. Then we go into return new query builder. Because as I'm saying, my factory pattern is only instantiating my query object. That is, that is its sole purpose, just to create those objects or create that single object that I need. So, and that as much as we're going to put in for this query builder factory. And I'm going to close out all these for now. And let's actually push these to, to GitHub. Because I should have pushed the last one, which I didn't. So let's just do it now before we forget. So git status. And I'm going to say git add git commit add a message and say added data mapper component and query with a component I'm gonna say git push git push origin master and we're just going to go ahead and check github to see those commits so we've got five commits so far and the last one was 22 seconds ago so if we go into our liquid orm you can see we got our data mapper we got our query builder and that factory that we've just created is right here and that's the code that we've just implemented within our query builder factory. So we know that it's been pushed. We've got the latest stuff that's been pushed to, to get to query builder. Hold on. So we've got something that ain't supposed to be where it should be so let's go back into our editor and we've got our exception directory which is empty so this needs to be in that directory and while we're here we need to create that query builder exception class Actually, let's just make this easier let's just copy this because it's going to be the same for now I'm going to say exception and later on when we come to implementing our base or base file we're going to have base exception which we're going to change and we're going to extend from those base exception rather than doing it like this but for the time being this is sufficient enough when we come to refactor we're going to change all that I'm just going to take this bit out and it's just going to be query builder exception um, extend exception and it's also bring that within our within our class because I believe we're also using that within this class so it's going to be query builder exception yep um, where we're using that we're using that down using that somewhere we're using that in our factory actually um, let me just remove that and let's leave it for now because I think we might be using this exception within this class as well so let's leave that for now let's put that within our factory let's put it at top like that because we're using that exception class down here We've got our query builder interface and we're calling it right there as well. All right. I think 
that's it yeah so let's just push that back to to get so say so get status to get add get commit um oh, let me just do we just added or query builder exception so git push origin master and we come back to our or github page we go to liquid ORM and query builder you can see we got those two exception within the correct directory and yeah I think that's all the changes that we've made and we've added this and we pull that builder interface or that query builder exception within our query builder factory class let's go back back got all of our data mapper Got environment got our factory our interface right so we're going to end this video at this particular point and the next bit that we're going to next component for our ORM is going to be our entity manager and this is the class where we're going to start implement some of what we've already written like or query builders and stuff like or data mappers the method within our data mapping class we're going to start implementing some of these within our entity class so that's going to be the next video guys so stay tuned because now you're going to start to see or now you're going to start seeing some implementation of what we've written so far so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching Bye.